Guys, what is up? Sam here from Sam Nathan's Fishing Show, and today we're going to talk about the six top baits for early spring. All right. So the first one, we're going to move from fastest moving to slowest moving, from when they're really getting active and they're starting to get on that feet on, and when they're really slow and lethargic and they're just hanging out. So our first fast moving bait is a red eye shad or just a lipless crankbait of any sort. Um, these are KVD Strike King, uh, lipless crankbait, red eye shad, obviously. Um, for these, they're really great because they wobble, they give off a lot of vibration, a lot of sound. And, uh, key places to fish these kind of baits is grass and transition points. Uh, always grass, always grass. And you'll just kind of give it, like, a retrieve. You can just kind of, kind of give that yo-yo retrieve where you're reeling, bring it up. Reeling, bring it up. Reel up to it. Bring it up. And, you know, don't be afraid to let that little guy fall down and come back up. Because when it falls down, he's going to jitter, right? So, just keep these guys jittering along. If, don't get afraid about caught, getting it caught up in grass. Because these suckers are great for ripping them out of grass, you know? So, and that really can get the fish going. So, just, you know. Alright, and just one more tip is, these guys, uh, one of the best uh, colors for, especially this time of year, is red. Uh, they great for mimicking claw and stuff like that. Except, if your lake or pond doesn't have any claw then definitely go with the bait fish color, like a shad or a bluegill type color. The next bait we like to throw is a jerk bait. This is a, a Rapala shadow wrap, but you know, the Kevin Van Dam ones are good too. They make different uh, patterns in the shadow wraps. For some reason, the shadow wraps only do like shad and blue black herring and stuff. But these I like to throw, I like to throw a lot. I throw these from ice out all the way up until pre-spawn. And so when you're throwing these in cold water, you're going to be having longer pauses. And with longer pauses, you want floating line. If the line is going to float below the bait, it's going to cause the action to be not, not as great as with you would with floating line. So always go monofilament with these. And this is for any time you're pausing your bait over five seconds, go monofilament. Uh, just... With these, you're going to want to hit points, vertical structure, you can hit laydowns. Really, it's up to you where you think the fish are going to be. But once again, I, I love jerk baits for this early spring. Hey, okay, next bait that we love to throw is when them, when them bass are starting to hit on them bait fish really hard. <coughs> so, <coughs> um, these are chatter baits. Uh, they're great because they give off vibration, they got a skirt, they're a skirted jig. So they can mimic a bait fish really well. There are some claw colors, but the three main colors that you would be using or patterns would be bait fish, like uh, shad type bait fish if you lake upon a shad, bluegill if you lake upon a bluegill, almost everyone does. And then you've even got colors like this black and blue for stained water. Um, so <clears throat> these fi these uh, lures are really great to fish around transitions where the fish are sitting there. Ambush points where they're getting ready to see them bait fish and they can come at it. Uh, drop offs, grass, especially. You can also, this is a great bait to rip out of the grass. And they give out a lot of vibration and they have a natural look to them. So, yeah, I'm, if you throw these when them fish are getting, you know, when they're really starting to hit them bait fish, you'll catch fish. The next thing is when, you know, it's colder weather, the, the, sometimes the water is pretty stained. And the fish are very lethargic, and they're hugging real tight to cover. And for that, you want to use a jig. Uh, different types of jigs are good. You got just your standard, like, uh, just this is like a missile jig kind of thing for grass. Uh, you have your finesse jigs, and you have your football head jigs. I'll start with football head. These you want to use around rock and also vertical structure. Uh... A craw trailer is the best, and you know you want the three basic colors. You're gonna want, uh, you're gonna want uh, a bluegill, a craw, and a shad color. 
The next we're going to talk about is a finesse jig. And finesse jigs are small, and these are the best when they're very finicky and you hardly can't get them to take any baits. A finesse jig, it kind of, it's got this, the skirt kind of like trimmed off in the front. And so these you want to use when you really just can't get a bite. And then this here is just your, like your grass jig. Uh, blue and black is really the best color for any jig. Blue and black is the best color. You can throw them all year round. But once again with these, just you can throw them around grass, but the best is vertical structure and laydowns and, you know, uh, with your drop-offs and stuff. So th these are where you're going to want to throw jigs. All right, so um, our second to last bait that we like to use, uh, slow, you can fish these slow or fast. Um, the first would be a beaver uh, like this. You know, you can Texas rig them, you can Carolina, uh, and they're just great because you can throw these things around, you know, brush, structure, grass, flats, transitions, just slowly creep this guy or bounce it. Or, you know, be jigging it over the top, depending on how active they are that day. And you can definitely get a bunch of bites with these beavers. Um, next would be a swim bait, which obviously a beaver would mimic more like a crawdad. And a swim bait would mimic more like a bait fish. As he swim through the water, when them bass are starting to hit them bait fish, you know, they're going to see this swim through the water. They're going to see, oh, well, there's a stupid little bait fish away from all its friends. That's one stupid bait fish. I'm going to eat it. So, you can get a lot of fit, you know, a lot of fish like that, and don't be too discouraged to just jig it because these can be great jigging if you put like a Texas wig on this thing and let it bounce off the bottom. It might not have a, a natural pat or a natural like uh, presentation, but it's still a good one. And finally, we got some tubes, which are green tubes are better for when you're trying to get fish to bite out of instinct of trying to uh, you know feed, but uh, you know, the white ones are better for spawn, but we'll talk about that in our uh, pre-spawn and spawn and post-spawn videos. So, Alright, the next bait I'm going to talk about is for really cold. And, I mean, you can have ice building up on your guides and you just can't get a bite. A shaky head is a way to go. When you're getting picking out the worm, always get a hand-poured worm. They'll be flat on the bottom, and this means that they'll float. And when they float in the water... The jig head, the shaky head jig will stand up, will stand up like this, and it'll the tail will wag. Instead of like a summer retrieve for this, where you're gonna be hopping it and bouncing it along, this is really cold. You want to just cast it and try and keep it as still as you can, and that's just it's just gonna shake in the water like that. So this is for when it's really cold and you just can't get a bite. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, remember to like subscribe, and comment some stuff down there, man. If you want to stay tuned to what we upload, then just hit that red button, man. It's that easy. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for more content, and we will catch you guys in the next video. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Sam? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Myself. <laughs> the next bait we love to throw. We, 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 I. The next bait I love. <laughs> the next bait we like to throw is a is a shadow wrap. Hey guys, what's up? Sam here from Sam and Nathan's Fishing Show, and today we're gonna talk about what we like to throw in. I didn't say six. Uh,